Welcome back, welcome back. We're looking at Ikeem Okwonu, uh, offensive lineman, left tackle from North Carolina State. I was looking through some mock drafts just so I could see who I need to be paying attention to. And Dane Brugler uh, on the Athletic, his mock draft came out. And Ikeem Okwonu was the number one overall pick in his mock draft. And it was a long time since offensive line has been number one overall pick, guys. So, man, you know, I got excited, had to go pull some film out, man, because I'm an offensive line guy. This stuff just keeps me up at night. Um, we're gonna talk about you know five or so plays. It's gonna be more than five plays. I'm super excited about this dude. We're gonna show a few plays here for the YouTube family. But if you want the entire game, we broke down Clemson, in North Carolina. Uh, go over to the Patreon, Patreon.com/slash Lombardi, where we broke down Ikeem Okwonu, left tackle. Now. He's number 79. He's going to be the left tackle for the duration of the film session, bro. And, you know what I mean? You, you, you don't need me to really break down this dude for you, man. All, all, you need, all you need is your eyes. All you need is your eyes, man. And when people ask me, yo, Vice, like, can you break down Ikeem I Ikwonu for us? I'm like, well, he explodes people. He explodes people. He takes lunch money. The, they, they get grass all over. They get clothes. And that's just what he does man like let me fast forward just a little bit let me fast forward just a little bit you know what i'm saying they're gonna be like but vodge we need some technical analysis on ikeem okwonu you just can't simply say you know he just shows up and explodes people and expect us to take that seriously i feel you but left tackle ikeem okwonu all he does is explode people and look to explode people that's all he do Look at him pulling right here. Boom, explosion. That's what he does. Look at him. Then he gonna get up and talk to you. That's a penalty in the National Football League. But, 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 but sir. The, sir. Anybody can explode somebody. When you can consistently explode people, it makes you dangerous. Right. And we talk about these guys every year. Every year, there's always a dude that moves really well for his size. Take Greg Little. No disrespect to Greg Little, but he was one of them big dudes that move really good or whatever. Right. But what makes a difference between him being big dude and like Orlando Brown being big dude or Makai Becton being big dude is that the last two big dudes we mentioned, those dudes move people like big dudes. I don't think Greg Little worked out because he was big as hell, could move well, but he didn't move people like big as hell. Ikeem Okwonu moves people like he's big as hell at all phases of the game. Last time it was like pass blocking or something. The next time it was like I was pulling. This time he's just looking for work. Looking for work. Check him out. Looking for work. Let me explode you. And you explode. And there's nothing you can do about it. And look, I love the Senior Bowl, but there has to be just some kind of overall draft showcase in camp form, right? I got to know what this dude looks like trying to block Aiden Hutchinson in a phone booth. I just got to know what that wrestling match looks like. And the only reason we'll ever know is if they go to opposite teams and those teams play, man. But it's, I just want to see just the natural, primitive smoking each other, exploding people, bro. But... There's there's something that comes with Ikeem Okwonu exploding people. Um, the first few plays were fun, right? You know, but let's let's get into more of some technical analysis, right? And you know, no matter what happened, Ikeem is physical enough, he's strong enough, athletic enough to deal with whoever you put in front of in, in front of him. But in terms of him being like a perfect prospect or whatever, of course, there's some things he needs to work on. He he doesn't really have a good idea for football, the, the technical side of it just yet. Um, as a pass blocker right here, you see him just kind of oversetting a little bit, right? Like he drifts really wide to the outside leaving a big space in the middle they're actually gonna do a little uh gap exchange there the end is gonna cross face and the back is gonna shoot that gap but even if you shoot that gap and it's wide open because you overexpose that gap explode that dude and we won't have a bad day in the film room next week you see what i'm saying you see how this works like dude has so much raw natural ability man like watch him climb to the second level first of all <laughs> It's hilarious how he gets there, but he he gets there or whatever, right? Like he can move way better than this. I'm sure of that next. Like he like he gets there, but he just proceeds to just him and this linebacker. Let's just leave the film. Like let's just leave. Let's just leave the frame. Let's just leave the frame. I might as well like put my camera back up here because they not even on screen no more. They not even on screen no more, bro. They just they just way off 
off in the metaverse just dancing somewhere. Look at him again. Look at him again. He wants to finish all these plays, bro. And I love that nastiness, bro. I love that tenacity, man. Somebody um, asked me, should he play guard? I guess that's something that's in uh, that's in the cards for him. You know, teams are just talking about him playing guard or whatever. I mean, I, I feel you, man. But just with that dude's, you know, size and length, just put him at tackle and teach him how to play tackle. I think he's naturally built for tackle. He, he just mauls people in phone booths so it looked like he could, he could play a little bit of guard. Um but my word, that dude's aggressive and angry. Just give you a good idea of his uh, measurables right here. Can I get a combine nerd to put like his height and weight in the chat box, please? Just any one of y'all, please. But take that height and weight. Like, go to the comments. There's going to be somebody that's going to tell us how big he is. But he's six tall and 300 and huge pounds, whatever the hell he is. Moving like this is ridiculous. And then he's going to explode people at the end of this block. Like, he's consistently, you know what I mean, like laying wood on people. But... And moving like this, you know, ups his versatility a little bit because he can be fight you in phone booth, dude. But that doesn't mean that you have to, like, strict him to, like, a power role. Like, if you need to pull him, if you need to run screens, get him to the outside, then he's fine doing all this kind of stuff, man. He's really fun to look at, man. He's really fun to watch film on. I encourage y'all to look at him on your own time. Please. If I only had one play to summarize Akeem Ikwonu, I think this is it. This is a beautiful play describing who he is, right? Let's just run the play, then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. He's the left tackle, of course. This play perfectly describes who this dude is, right? So we look at him here and, you know, he's leaning forward a little bit. Not great positioning. You know, his 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 base gets a little narrow. He almost crosses his feet at some point. He's going to drop his post foot. Um, you see him, like, leaning pretty bad right there. Hands aren't placed very well. Even in the initial punch, his hands aren't placed very well. Um, they, they work to the one hand's on the dude, kind of on the outside. The other hand ain't even on him. His base all narrow and shit. You know what I mean? His arms are fully extended, so we're not going to get good drive on that, on that lockout. But... But despite all that, this kick slide is horrible. He's 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 galloping and not really like kick sliding. Like if you want to technically uh, technically analyze this dude, this is a bad looking block. The, this is like Pat Mahomes mechanics, Brett Favre mechanics, bad block, right? But he figures it out. He's so athletically gifted. He figures it out. If I'm an offensive line coach and I go, man, I could teach you about your base and your feet and your hands and your elbows and your eyes and your pinky finger and keeping your thumbs up and how to work your hips and bend your knees. If I teach you that, I have a gangster at left tackle moving forward, ladies and gentlemen. My word. If, though, that's assuming. If, you know what I mean? I think... um. You know what you could do in the National Football League is like as as long as these dudes can uh, can physically uphold their end of the bargain, then I think you know you can teach them anything. It just depends on the guys that they're gonna go against. If you're gonna go against one of the Bosa kids, you might want to have your hands and feet ready to go, which is gonna be a tough fight. But you want to have your technical side that's your technical side down because they're bringing technical stuff to you. But like if this dude rolled up against just like a naturally good defensive end type guy. I think he'll be fine. I think he'll 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 be able to live because he has the movement and the NFL strength and size already. So you ain't got to worry about that dude. Run game, he just got to go out there be a gangster, maul people, move him around. His um and and that's just you know that's not just inside you know close phone booth game like that's outside zone that's second level any 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 kind of movement that that you need him to do he can do it any kind of power task combos down blocks any anything like that that you need him to do he's smoking people. Um, you know what I'm saying? You just got to, uh, you know, teach them the, the nuance and the technical side, which is fine. You know, you, you have to teach that to most rookies in general, but you really got to pound that in with him. Um, but just like we looked at Makai Becton last year, hey, if you teach him X, Y, Z, um, he can contribute year one for you. He could be damn, damn good. And he was. Um, he wasn't as technically sound as like Wills or Worfs or anything like that, but he just had to be technical enough to use his length and his skills and his uh, and his feet and legs or whatever. But that's my long-winded, uh, simple but sort of not simple offensive line nerd breakdown of Ikeem Okwonu. If you want to see the longer film session, just go to patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. These are fun, breaking down offensive linemen for y'all. It's fun as hell. So uh, just tap in whenever y'all want to. Just let me know who y'all are trying to watch. And we'll see. I'm on a pretty set schedule. Um, 
but I got to keep my ears to y'all because y'all are telling me who the, the next hot prospect is. Because what'll happen is, I don't know, like somebody, uh, Brian Baldinger or something, will get on Twitter and be like, this dude is the best guard. Nitain Moody, <laughs> Natani Moody's the best guard in football or something nonsense nice like that. And like, yo, Vice, did you see what Brian Baldinger says? I can at least go to that and be like, okay, well, this dude is hot in the streets. Let me break it down for y'all. So uh, I'm on a set schedule, but talk to me in the chat box and we'll figure out what's going on. Next up. Uh, da, 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 da. Looked at that dude. Looked at that dude. We're looking at some of the Georgia kids. We're going to look at uh, the pass rushers. And we're going to look at the other offensive linemen, Evan Neal and Charles Cross. So stay tuned, man. We got some good offensive line work uh, coming for y'all, man. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Wolves and the Peace Week. Follow me on Twitter, V O C H L O M B A R D I. Salute y'all.